Hey guys, it's Fidai and today we're going to be making butterfly cake. I have never made cakes that are shaped before. This is my first try and I'm so happy with it because it came out so perfect. And this is an easier way that I'm showing you how to make it. Because we're just using stencils. You just make a cake, cut it out with stencil out of the shape and then just frost it. You again use a stencil, design stencil on top of it and just spread out the frosting. It will come just perfect. This is the best way for beginners to do it and whoever tries this will get it just perfect at their first try. So without any further ado, let's make this butterfly cake. To start off, I baked a cake. This is a vanilla cake and this is the same recipe of my vanilla cupcakes which I have already uploaded a video on. And if you want to use the same recipe, I'll leave a link in the description down below. So right now what I've done is I've baked it in a 7 inch cake pan rather than baking it in a cupcake tray and you have to cut this into two layers so first I'm going to cut it into two layers and if your cake is domed you shall trim off the top too that's cut into two layers now that's perfect then just measure out the perfect half of your cake and it's gonna be three and a half and cut that into half the cake is cut into half right now you have to cut the cake and carve it to the shape of your butterfly so I have one butterfly wing right here the stencil I'll leave a link in the description down below to the same stencil if you want to use it Flip your cake over and put one of the wings in one side of the cake and start carving it using your very sharp knife. Make sure you use a very sharp knife for doing this. And just carve it along the guidelines of the stencil. Just go doing it until you finish cutting the full thing. Now that's cut, take off any excess but don't just throw it yet because this might come handy later. Now I've cut out the other wing also using the same stencil. Take off all the excess. Let me just show you the shape of a butterfly. So that's how a butterfly is going to look. I have two of the wings. And I've also cut out a small body out of the excess of the cakes. And right now, I'm going to make a few more changes and just carve it properly. Because it's not yet really done fine. Just makes a few changes until your cake becomes into the perfect shape. So right now, I've achieved the shape of the butterfly and it looks perfect. Now, let's set this cake aside. Next, I have a turntable right here and we're going to start frosting the cake and assembling it. So place a nice dollop of your frosting. I'm using whipped cream frosting which I've already uploaded a video on. So if you want to use the same frosting, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Then place a cake board on top of it. Place two nice dollops of the cream frosting and place your first layer of the cake. Then spread some frosting in the between of the cakes. And just swipe it along with your offset spatula to spread it here and there and then place the second layer of the cake 
place it right on top of the cake so that there's no shape difference and press it down a little bit make any adjustments in the cake and just spread out the excess frosting that has come from the mid part of the cake and just start frosting your cake you will have to do a crumb, crumb coat actually so that all the crumbs stay in place so start frosting the cake in the way that you like it and which you feel easier and if there are any crumbs popping at this point it's fine because we're going to freeze it again and frost the cake again so this is just a crumb coat I've just started spreading the frosting around the sides so go on doing it until you've frosted the full cake until you've just given the full cake a crumb coat Now I've given my cake a crumb coat and it's perfectly done. Right now you have to pop this cake in the refrigerator for half an hour or until it all the frosting gets really stiff. Next we're going to keep the body part in the middle of the cake. Apply some frosting onto that also. And after you have chilled the crumb coat, we're going to frost the cake again. Frost it in the way that you like it and in the way that you feel comfortable to frost it. And this coat of frosting should not have any crumbs in it. Make sure to hide all the crumbs. Now the top part is covered. Just smoothen it out. So I feel that's perfect. Next, I'm going to start frosting the sides. And go doing this until you feel the butterfly has been frosted really well. And make sure not to hide all the seams in between using your frosting. If you hide the seams, it's not going to come in the perfect shape of a butterfly. I'm also going to use a bench scraper to get it nice and smooth. So right now this cake has perfectly been frosted. Just a few more seams. And there the cake is. It's perfectly frosted. No crumbs are coming on the top. And you have to keep this uh, cake in the refrigerator for one hour right now until everything chills because next we're going to use this stencil on top of the frosting. Keep the stencil on top once it's chilled. And here I have whipped cream frosting that is dyed in pink food color. Again, I'll leave the link in the description down below to this stencil. So just go according to the stencil. Here I have some purple. You can use the colors that you like. And this does not have to be perfect, we're going to spread it with a spatula. Then take your offset spatula and spread it here and there. So that it gives a really nice effect. Just take, a, take it out. Take the stencil off and there. I'm also going to outline the sides using some pink and purple frosting 
Be careful with this. Then going on with the purple frosting. Frost all the sides. Cover up the sides using the frosting. Then draw a few dots and bits over here and there so that the butterfly looks a bit over congested with all the designs. Just flatten it on the top. Just go on playing with it. Then I've took the same stencil, I'm going to keep it on the other side and do the same thing with it also. Continue doing the same thing until you get the same effect on both the sides. Finally, lift the stencil off and again outlining it. Just try to do the same kind of dots which you've done to the opposite side. And there the butterfly cake is. It's perfectly done and that was so easy to make actually. This turned out perfectly. Let me just show you a full view of it. I'm so sorry because I'm not really going to cut this cake and show you. As I've made this cake for someone else and I'm going to give it as a present to them. So I'm really sorry about that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thanks once again and bye bye.